Hello everyone, my name is Jack Murphy, and this is the 8th video in my dividend income series. If you cannot tell, it is the October dividend report. It is Halloween, so that is why I am dressed as Walter White. Tell me how I look in the comments. But in this video, I'm going to go over the dividends I got in October, what stocks I bought in October, um, what I'm going to get paid next month in November, and yeah, pretty much the the typical that I've been doing for the past couple of months. Uh, sorry if I talk a little weird. The mustaches or the goatee feels a little weird, but that's what I have in store for the video. My first dividend payment was from Altria Group. I got two dollars and thirty-seven cents, which is one of the highest dividend payments I've gotten so far. Um, a great way to start the month, and yeah, can't complain. My second dividend payment was from Realty Income, everyone's favorite monthly payer. I got 81 cents, closing in on that dollar a month, uh, should have by the end of the year, maybe uh, January, February. My third dividend payment, that was from Main Street Capital, where I got 44 cents. And my fifth dividend payment was from Prospect Capital, where I got 85 cents. The last dividend payment that I got on October 31st, Halloween, was from JP Morgan Chase, and I got a dollar and four cents. That brings my total monthly payment to $6.09. Pretty good, pretty good, over $5. And my new average for the next 12 months is $7.61. And the total dividend income I'll get in the next 12 months if I stopped adding money to my account entirely uh, is $91.32. We're really, really close to that 100. Might have it in November, but I'll definitely have it before Christmas. In October, I put about $200 into my account, you know, 50 bucks a week, and I had about $10 I also spent that was just in cash in my account, and I bought about $70 worth of Apple, I bought $20 worth of Realty Income, $20 worth of Verizon, $20 worth of Intel, $10 worth of JP Morgan, and I bought a whole nother share of SEHD which was almost $70, so I'll just round up for the sake of this. And I bought about $210 worth of stocks, and my account went up about $390 this month. So there's about $180 in capital gain gotten back this month, so overall, positive month. But you know how we do it, we keep dollar cost averaging every week, no matter the price, we're buying something. Something I just noticed while um, adding up all what I bought this month for the video is the past three months um, I think I bought like one share of SCHD which is obviously the Schwab ETF so I think I'm gonna try to like put like 50 to 70 dollars into ETFs every month mostly for now the Schwab dividend ETF let me know what you guys think but I think that's good to try to make an ETF one of the higher positions in my account so it's a little safer all right, now I'm gonna go over what stocks I am going to be paid by in November. So we'll start off in no particular order, but Apple, Lowe's, Main Street Capital, Realty Income, Prospect Capital, Starbucks, SPHD, and Verizon. So it looks like a good lineup for next month. Gonna be uh, getting that passive income excited for that and yeah let's move on October was a great month for dividends uh, also the stock market at least for my portfolio uh, showed some green so that is always nice to see but you know keep dollar cost averaging like I keep saying and yeah you're probably watching this after Halloween so tell me how your Halloween was let me know what you guys dressed up for Halloween in the comments I'm obviously your boy Walter White uh, yeah that's pretty much it Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I see you soon. Bye.